Hi and welcome to day 12 of my 12 days of Christmas. I thought for my final day I'd do something a little unique and show you how to make one of my favorite treats that I like to send with my husband to his work for the holidays. These are the Thin Mint Ritz Crackers and they're really, really simple to do. All you need is Ritz or Ritz style crackers. I'm using muffin tins with these cute Christmas muffin wrapper cups. I also have a bag of Nestle's chocolate chips, like you would use for cookies. Some smashed up candy canes. You can buy them pre-smashed. I suggest you do that because when you smash the canes themselves, it's a huge mess. It's a lot of fun and you may get some stress out, but it's a big mess. So this is a lot easier. I also have my double boiler and some peppermint extract. I've never used this particular one before, so we'll see how it goes, but they were completely out when we went to get peppermint extract at the store. All right, we're gonna go over to the stove and melt the chocolate. So I'm gonna start with some unsweetened baker's chocolate. I put um, a couple of cups of water in the bottom and I'm getting that heated. And then this is the top part of it. So I'm just gonna work on heating this up and melting it. First I'm gonna add the chips so we can try and get it all melted together. You wanna make sure to stir this so that it doesn't stick to the bottom, but that it helps keep melting. I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'll stir it and then it can sit and then I can stir it. Once the water is boiling, I like to turn down the heat because it starts to boil up around. And I just wanna make sure that I don't burn the chocolate because even though it's the double boiler, you can still burn it if you're not careful. That's looking really good. It's getting kind of glassy. A chunk of chocolate doesn't want to go. Turn it down below. We do need to dip while it's hot, but I have to stir the chocolate in. Looks like it's almost done. So now what you do is you just add a couple of drops of the peppermint extract. You don't want too much or it'll overwhelm it. One or two. That was closer to three. Oh, that's okay. We'll start there. Mmm, smelling minty. Can you smell it? These are gonna be tasty, huh? I turned off the stove completely and now I'm mixing in the peppermint extract. I want to make sure to blend it really well. And then we're gonna go over to the table while this is still hot and start dipping our crackers. Basically you can dip them all the way in and completely coat them with the chocolate if you want. I like to just kind of half dip, wipe it off a little, and then I'll dip it into the peppermint like that. And then I'm just setting them in these little cups so that they can harden. And as they harden then I can add more to each cup and then that way the cups become individual servings for people at work. These would be great gifts for your postal worker or your babysitters or anyone that you could think of that you might want to take these to. They're so simple and they really are very tasty. Kids love them. I think you like them, right Jason? You could say hi. Hello. Yes, they are very yummy and addictive. <laughs> 
Now, if you have issues, if you need gluten-free, there are gluten-free crackers like this. Some people prefer to use the club crackers for this. Um, I think the Ritz tastes a lot more like the Thin Mint that you get, uh, those Girl Scout cookies that you can get. As you can see, this is what they look like while we're waiting for them to harden. If you want them to harden faster, you can put them in your refrigerator or your freezer and keep making more so that eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to put four, maybe three, four in one, in one container like this. So they'll make nice individual packages for the people at work. Now, if you decide you want the whole front covered, I would put it in the chocolate like this. Take a fork, just kind of lift it up, flip it over. That one didn't go very well, but that's okay. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Well, it looks like the chocolate is cooling off. Yeah, the so. ch chocolate is cooling down. So, And then I just stick them in the cups like that and sprinkle. I find this to be a messier way of doing it but you get more chocolate bits. So it just depends on what you prefer. I like the other way because it's quicker, it's not quite as messy, and you can make a lot more at once. But there you go. This is how it looks when it's all finished. Thank you for watching day 12 of my 12 Days of Christmas 2015 series. I hope you've enjoyed this series. It was a lot of fun to videotape and put together for you. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2016.